A momentous day for 18-year-old Jill Edmonds as she begins three years of study at Britain's most famous university. A university that boasts more graduates than all other universities in the world put together. The University of Life. During your years here, you will learn many things. Basic car maintenance, how to look after yourselves in a fight, what birds really want, worsening unemployment and inner city decay. Who is to blame? Well, of course, it's the bloody immigrants. I'd like to it's not as simple as that. Immigrants to any culture, a small percentage of the social underclass, and thus a convenient scapegoat. For... I can see you have a lot to learn, young man. <laughs> but uh, plenty of time for that later. Meanwhile, go out and have some fun! But soon the fun and excitement must end and hard work begin. In this essay, I should be arguing that all art is shit. Especially the stuff where you can't even see what it's supposed to be. The sources I've used are Fiesta, The Daily Mail, Chubby Brown's UFO video, and I should be quoting extensively from the arguments of Steve Wright and his posse. Their analysis of contemporary events is very thorough. Especially the girl one. Year two. And Jill gains a place in one of the University of Life's most popular and prestigious schools. <laughs> what do you want out of life, Jill? I want to run my own independent film production company. <laughs> Whatever happened? Get a f***ing grip! <laughs> Excellent. You're working very well this term now, Jill. Thank you, sir. Not really. <laughs> Final exams at the University of Life concentrate more on practical than written tests of knowledge. Open the tunnel! No monkey business! Come on! Come on! Quickly! It's not a problem. Hurry, quickly, it's not a problem. Shut! It's not a problem! <laughs> I liked your opening, it was clear and concise. The search let you down. Even in small shots, you must expect the shopkeeper to be tooled up. Any sign of trouble, you shoot, shoot to kill. Either in the face or the chest, as I explained in my lecture last week. I can only give you two, two, I'm afraid. Oh, just kill you, just get me to the hospital. My dear girl, that is the very first place the Rosos will look. So I shall have to take it out with this rusty knife, I'm afraid. And as Jill leaves her home of three years, she is older, wiser, and qualified for adult life. I've learned that life isn't fair, that common sense is more important than reading fancy books, but most importantly, I've learned that all students are wankers. Jill, they 